Hello, it's Ryan Gillard here with Real Broker, and in this video, I'll take you through our monthly stats package for October and let you know what's happening in the Calgary real estate market. As you can see from the headline here, price gains continue in Calgary's real estate market as inventory remains low. Definitely still a strong market. We had about 2,171 sales. That number is up 17% year over year. And a big chunk of this is the condo market, which is doing very well. I think it's doing well because affordability has become a problem and many people are, are being pushed into lower price ranges, which condos are typically in. And um, there is some slowdown though. Typically during this time of the year, November until February, everything does slow down in terms of real estate. People are waiting for the spring market and stuff like that. I personally wouldn't be doing that, but um, it is just a normal part of our seasonal nature in Calgary. You know, it gets dark early, it's cold outside, so people are delaying uh, until the spring, stuff like that. Um, the one stat here that is that could be concerning if you're a seller looking to cash out and time the market, new listings, 2,684 during this month, and that was up 23.7% year over year. So that's quite the increase, and I'm personally seeing a lot of people who are looking to cash out and rent or to buy something much lower, like a condo and stuff like that, um, just because they're renewing their mortgages at, at much higher rates and they can't afford it. So more people are coming onto the market because they're a bit scared of their new payments. Um, if this continues, they will balance the market. So right now we're still 40% below our inventory levels that are traditional for this time of the year. So there's a long way to go, but this number would be a bit concerning to me if my sole interest was to sell at the, at the height of the market. Um, so if you are a seller looking to time it, I would be looking at it right now because if this continues month after month, new increases, I, I think it will balance the market out. Now, we're still in a, in a hardcore seller's market, but maybe we just return to more balanced conditions. So it's not the end of the world, but um, if the market is more balanced, you're probably not gonna see lineups to view properties or unconditional offers and stuff like that. Uh, maybe you're on the market two weeks and you have one offer. Uh, and the months of supply, 1.47 months. Again, what this means, if nobody could sell a property or list a property, it would take 1.47 months to sell the remaining inventory on the market. This is still exceptionally good if you're a seller. Um, if More balanced conditions would be like three, four months, I would say. And uh, just a snapshot of prices, the total residential price, 571,600 is up 9.7%. This is the average of all of these properties, or all these groups right here, detached homes, semi-detached, rows, uh, townhouses, and condos. So for detached homes, the average is just shy of 700,000. Duplexes, 628,700, up 13.1%. Townhouses, big increase up 19.2% to 425,200. And also condos up 16.1% year over year to 316,000. 600 and I'll just give you a quick snapshot of the regional pricing throughout the city So the most expensive parts of Calgary are on the west side and the city center So the west end 686,000 that number is up 7.7% year over year Northwest 613,700 and then the city center at 601,000 and You can kind of lump these all together north south and the southeast are all kind of hovering around the $550,000 mark and then the most affordable parts of Calgary are on the east side. So northeast at 483500 up 16.7%. Big increases there. And the biggest increase, east Calgary, up 20% to almost just shy of uh, 400000 So big increases there. Now I'll just go through this sector by sector, just to give you a rough breakdown. So for detached properties, I would say under 700000 in that price range, the market is very tight. If you're a buyer, you might have to compete against other buyers, but over 1 million, the market's much different. There's about three to four months of supply over 1 million, and it's a much more balanced market. And so for total sales, 976, that number is up 3.72% year over year. New listings are up 13% um, to 1,302, um, but inventory is down 18%. Current inventory is at 1,584. Now, going forward, I think both of these numbers might increase. Again, it's hard to predict this, but uh, again, I am seeing lots of sellers who are coming on the market because they're scared of their new rates and stuff like that. So that will drive new listings, and eventually the inventory might increase month after month uh, if things balance out. You know, Who knows? Maybe they drop the rates and the market takes off again. It's, it's impossible to predict, but my opinion, I think going forward, you might see both of these numbers increase slightly each month. 
Months of supply is still 1.62, very tight market. That number is down 21% over last year. And sales to list price ratio, 100%. So that means if you're a buyer, on average, you're, you're, you're offering full list price um, to get the property. Days in the market, 27 days, down 25% year over year. So our market's moving very quickly. This includes the pending period, which is like financing, home inspection, stuff like that. So the market is, is quite fast here in Calgary. And the average price, 725000 And we'll go into the apartment sector. This is a very active sector right now. Total sales up 47% year over year. So a huge increase to 641 sales. New listings, 727, up 36% over last year. Actually quite a big increase. But this could be like condo developments becoming online and stuff like that. So it's hard to always predict the condo inventory because there's always new new projects being built and coming online. And it could skew the, the monthly stats sometimes. The inventory is sitting at 948. That is down 16% year over year. Months of supply, 1.48. So again, that's a very tight market. Um, sales to list price ratio, 99%. So you have to offer almost full list price on average. Days in the market, 29. And the average price is 321,641. And for the, and one thing to mention here in the apartment sector is condos under 300,000, very tight, very active markets um, for that. And it makes sense that uh, there's a huge clientele looking for that right now, especially as affordability becomes a problem. And for semi detached, these are duplexes. Total sales up 13% to 179. New listings, 235, that's up 26%. Inventory is down as well, down 14%. Months of supply, 1.59 months. So the same idea. It's a very tight sector. 99% uh, of list price or sales to list price ratio. 25 days in the market and the average price is 614000 up 14%. And lastly, we'll look at the townhouse sector. So total sales up 17% to 375. New listings up 38%. Inventory is down 19%. Months of supply, 0 0.99. This is actually the tightest sector in Calgary. Sales to list price ratio, 101%. So you have to offer over asking price in the townhouse market. Days in the market, 23. And the average price is 427372 So to summarize, things look pretty good to me. Our, our stats are showing a very strong market still. Um, the one thing to note, again, is that there is a lag effect in real estate and that we're not seeing our market as, as the economy is. It takes maybe six months for things to play out in real estate. And so going forward, there might be more inventory coming on the market. I am seeing a lot of people who are listing their properties because they're scared of their new payments and the interest rates and stuff like that. If that becomes uh, more of a trend going forward, that will bounce the market out. So if you are a seller looking to cash out at the height, I would be keeping an eye on the inventory levels. And lastly, let's look at this from a buyer's perspective. The past like half year, lots of buyers are on the sidelines. They're waiting for the rates to come down or they're... They're just, they're just waiting because the market was so hot, it was out of control, there's lineups to view properties, competing offers and stuff like that. So they just gave up their plans. Um, I would look into it again because November until, say, February is the slowest time of the year in terms of real estate. So if you're out there as a buyer, you might have more time to view properties and you, you might not be rushed as much without the, all the competition that you had during the spring and the summer months. So it could be time to look into it again if you're a buyer. And the last thing that I'll mention is that um, a lot of buyers are waiting for the interest rates to come down. I think this is a mistake because for the rates to come back down from like say 6% to like 2 or whatever it was during COVID, that's highly unlikely that the rates were that low to begin with. It's probably not going to happen again for a very, very long time. And uh, so if you're waiting for that to happen, you'll be waiting a while. And if they do drop the rates uh, a good amount, the market might take off again and you might be buying at a much higher price. But it's, it's hard to time that. And uh, if anything, I think the rates will stay the same or they might be lowered just slightly. Uh, inflation is still out of control and um, it, it'll be tough. So if you're a buyer trying to time that, I think that's probably a mistake. Again, this is just my opinion, but take it for what it's worth. And... Uh, so that's my rundown of the Calgary real estate market. If you're watching this and you have questions about your own scenario, they're all every scenario is a bit different. Um, but if you have some questions, you're curious um, what this might mean for you, I'd love to help you out. Give me a call, 403-471-4212. All of my information is in the written description below. I'm easy to get a hold of. Thanks for watching and have a great day.